Hello everyone, I'm back. Vic here of US Market Biz, and for today I'm going to discuss to you the updates on the daily newsletter that you're going to receive once you subscribe at preferredcurrency.news. So let's proceed. So this is the website. So this is a subscription website called preferredcurrency.news where you subscribe for $15 a month or $180 a year to receive the daily newsletter um, okay, to see the latest updates on cryptocurrencies alright so let's go to the newsletter so here is the newsletter that was sent um, 5 hours or 5 to 6 hours ago Okay, so this is the main headline. So nine leading shipping operators launch global business network based on the blockchain. Okay, so nine major terminal operators and shipping companies have signed a memorandum of understanding to launch an open digital platform based on distributed ledger technology (DLT). The Maritime Executive, a major industry source for maritime and marine news, reported November 6. The MOU aimed at forming a consortium to develop a shipping industry blockchain alliance dubbed the Global Shipping Business Network GSBN has been signed by the world's leading shipping operators during the China International Import Expo in Shanghai on November 6. The article notes that the software solution for the Global Shipping Business Network will be provided by CargoSmart, a Hong Kong-based company specializing in shipping and logistics. Okay. So let's go to the main, I mean the full story. So Cargo Smart initiated the launch of the Blockchain Shipping Alliance and the first application of the newly established global shipping business network is scheduled for December 2018. The article notes the first planned application will allow shippers to digitize and organize their dangerous goods documents and automatically connect with the relevant parties to streamline the approval process okay so this is very good news so this new blockchain alliance involves such shipping giants as PSA International a, ship, a Singapore based company and one of the world's largest port operators in Shanghai International Port Group leading operator of ports in China. Other participants include leading French shipping, shipping group CMA, CGM, SA and Yangming Maritime Marine Transport Corporation, an ocean shipping company based in Taiwan. At the end of the summer, Danish Transport and Logistics Maersk in partnership with IBM had also launched a global blockchain enabled platform involving 94 organizations for shipping and logistics solutions. Coin Telegraph reported August 9. Okay, so that is the main headline for today. The next um, headline is Coinbase launches full trading of basic attention token. So, this is good for bad holders. So, American cryptocurrency exchange and wealth provider Coinbase has announced the rollout of full trading of the basic attention token or BAT at coinbase.com and in the coinbase android and ios apps per a blog post published november 8 according to the announcement coinbase customer can now buy sell send and receive or store bat along with other digital currencies supported on the block on the platform the exchange also notes that bat will be available for customers in most jurisdictions except initially for residents of the state of new york Okay, so let's read the full story. So, where were we? State of New York. Sure. Okay, so Coinbase announced that it started accepting inbound transfers of BAT to Coinbase Pro last week, indicating that BAT trading would
um, would only start once the coin established sufficient liquidity. The exchange stipulated that the token would undergo four listing chain stages, including transfer only, where users will be able to transfer BAT into Coinbase Pro accounts, post only, which would enable customers to post limited orders, limit only, where limit orders starting start matching, and the final stage, full trading, which gives full access to trading services, including limit, market, and stop orders. After the previous announcement, the bat price skip, spiked, rather, surging by over 20% on the day. Today, the altcoin's price had a far more measured response, increasingly only slightly before slumping in the last few hours. Okay, so this is very, very nice for bat holders. Um... Let's check where were we? At press time, BAT is down 3.87% on the day, according to Coin Market Cap. Still, the cryptocurrency has seen a steady growth on its weekly chart from 0.253 dollars. On November 2 to its highest weekly price point at around 0.379 today. At press time, BAT is trading at $0.3201. In October, Coinbase added support for 0x or ZRX, making it the first ERC20 token available for trade on the platform. In the same month, the exchange also launched the first US dollar stablecoin on the platform USDC in partnership with blockchain powered payments technology company Circle. Okay, so that is the second um, story. The third one is IBM and Seagate launched blockchain based system to fight counterfeit hard drives. So IBM and data storage firm Seagate have announced a joint initiative to fight counterfeit hard drives using blockchain technology, according to a press release shared with the Cointelegraph November 8th. The project will reportedly use IBM's blockchain platform to help manufacturers, integrators, and business partners better authenticate the provenance of hard disk drives. Okay. IBM and Seagate solution will work by updating the IBM blockchain platform on the IBM cloud with product authentication data based on Seagate security solution Seagate Secure Electronic ID, the latter of which creates a unique identifier at the point of manufacture that can later be used to verify the identity of a given hard drive at any point during its life cycle. Aside from EID, Seagate will also provide a solution dubbed certifi Certified Erase, which employs cryptographic erasure technology to procedure, I mean, to produce a digital certificate of data purge, which is electronically signed by the device under the Seagate Secure Public Key Infrastructure or PKI and stored on the blockchain for compliance management with emerging global data privacy laws. In conjunction with these two security layers from Seagate, the Hyperledger powered distributed ledger framework that underpins IBM's blockchain platform is geared to enabling various parties to add or edit blockchain data according to the level of the permissioned access. As a blockchain platform, all parties, whether they are technology vendors, service providers, and I mean or end users will have access to an immutable record of events spanning the product's provenance and life cycle. The pro multi pronged solution is expected to help reduce data loss and approve product assurance for customers, I mean consumers, as well as lower warranty costs incurred by counterfeit products. Bruce Anderson, Global Managing Director of Electronics Industry at IBM, has remarked that the ability to combine blockchain with advanced cryptographic product identification technology signals 
blockchain's potential to reimagine the electronics product life cycle management process processes. Can they fit? Electronics components are a global issue that requires an ecosystem-wide effort to address. Okay. IBM continues to intensively pursue blockchain technology of development just last week, filing a patent for a blockchain-powered system that aims to deter augmented reality game players from intruding on undesirable locations, thus helping to set and maintain safe boundaries between AR objects and real-world physical locations. As of August 31, 2018, the tech giant ranked second worldwide in terms of the number of blockchain-related patents filed to date, second only to China's Alibaba. Okay, so that is the third main story. So these are the three... Um, headlines for today so these are the three updates on the news regarding cryptocurrency on preferred currency down news right so let's scroll down so the invitation to the telegram group is here also and the tool where you where you can monitor your um, ES transactions on your account um, this tool will send emails to you on what is happening on your account especially your ES Okay, so this is easeauthority.com slash alerts. Okay, so this is the website. Just put your account name here and then email address and then get alerts. Okay, right, so there are also other links here or other useful links. Okay, so these two websites are marketplace websites where you can use cryptocurrencies to buy and sell different items. Or rent different items so as you can see um, this is the first website that focuses on EOS but you can also um, contact the owner if you have um, other options as well okay so the contact numbers are just here so you don't have to worry and you can also email the owner the contact person also okay so the next one is PC marketplace today so this is also the same as EOS marketplace news the only difference is that it is there's a category okay so um, the UI is the most obvious change because in use marketplace only has a spreadsheet while this one has this one as you can see here's a sample of the ad once you hover it the description of the advertisement will come out okay so the next is uh, the news website pcn.today so if you're bored and you want to read uh, the latest updates on cryptocurrencies, just visit this website and you won't, um, you will be satisfied of the latest news. Okay, and also follow their Twitter account. So at Preferred Crypto. Right. So if you're new in cryptocurrencies and you want to trade your US dollars, US dollars to Bitcoin, you can go to proinbookpro.coinbase.com and the link is also here. Uh, in the newsletter and if you want to exchange your Bitcoin after you exchange it from US dollars to EOS You can exchange it in binance.com The link is also here and if you want to uh, down if you're having problems um, where to store your EOS You can download uh, the free EOS wallet in Google Play and in your favorite app store or you can use the desktop version Just go to eoslinks.com. So the name of it is EOS links Okay, so also our a list of new latest and upcoming EOS airdrops so just visit this website eosdrops.io okay so currently there are about 50 plus um, airdrops here listed so if you want to claim them you can claim them one by one all right so the drop date is here also okay as if and here are Don the Guru's top coins on his research list so these are Bancor, Bitem, Cardano, Social Send, VeChain, Bitcoin, EOS, Teller, Tron, and ZRX. And also his spreadsheet where you can where, where we got uh, he got that top coins. So as you can see in the first or in the first row and in the first cell, there's the description there that the ones colored in red have negative news. The orange or tan are neutral, the yellow are fair. The green have good news and the blue are showing the best news. So those are the colored blue. 
so just visit um, if you are already subscribed at preferredcurrency.news you can receive this newsletter so this news um, this spreadsheet rather so this spreadsheet as you can see is very informative where you can find the different technical analysis of the different coins so there are also as you can see some price predictions here right so if I were you I will subscribe to preferredcurrency.news now so aside from that we can also view the latest um, tokens or coins that have high volume change the interesting technical price action the high weekly trade volume and the high growth switch activities okay and also if you want to earn crypto each month and you can earn affiliate commissions for seven levels deep join their affiliate program just click the picture here or go directly to the website and click affiliate at the upper right corner of the website okay so there are also other useful links here and if you subscribe you will also receive this newsletter so you don't have to um, worry because the price is just very very cheap so if, um, before um, before anything else please subscribe at preferredcurrency.news okay so guys before I go I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor and everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself okay so guys I think that's it so that is the update on preferredcurrency.news newsletter for today according to this on uh, November 10 okay so please take note of it preferredcurrency.news okay this is Vic bye bye